No, we played on some some pretty difficult wickets, and I reckon we had a, a reasonably um, inexperienced side at that stage. We sort of had an idea what we were in for. We had a couple of guys that had played here before, but for a lot of us, I'm pretty sure it was our first time here, in the long form anyway. It was a tough series, and it was really frustratingly tough for me personally. It was tough for the team because we struggled, we didn't win. We weren't playing well, uh, or well enough to, to compete, really compete and perform well in these conditions. You know, lots of players had just retired at the end of 2015. Um, it, was, it was probably a lot of our players' first time playing in really spinning conditions. They had a, a, pr a really good spin attack who obviously who uh, went through us through that, that series. Harath was, was, uh, was phenomenal through the, the series for them. Really happy, happy that uh, they taken a hat-trick against a uh, number one team. Uh, playing against number one team and uh, winning a series, I think uh, kind of a big, big achievement. What uh, Harath did was just own his, own his spot and own his skill. And this is not easy to bat kind of a pitch because especially in goal, always in something something uh, for the spinners. So even even third day, I'm 100% sure uh, spinners get some uh, get some assistance for, for, from the pitch. I've had a conversation with him after this test series, and I said, "What what do you do that I don't do?" And he said, "I know I put the balls in one one spot, and you blokes will stuff up." And so that's a pretty simple mindset. And I, I took it out of it and go, "Okay." Test cricket, it, it, the secret to everyone's success, if you can challenge their defence for long periods of time, you'll be able to create chances. So, And that's what he did extremely well. He challenged our defence for long periods of time and he got the reward. Yeah, I think we had three different plans and three different test matches, which is not ideal. Obviously being foreign conditions and you're trying things and, and if they don't work straight away, whether it's thinking you have to change straight away or whether it's an execution thing or whether the plan's right or wrong. What we're doing isn't working. Uh, batters aren't adapting to, to the conditions. Um, the spin bowlers aren't adapting to the conditions. If you have the right process and you have the right game plan and you don't execute it, that doesn't mean you need to go and change it again. Uh, and I think we, especially in the subcontinent, because things can get tough and change really quickly here. So it's one of those things where I think last time we probably didn't do it well enough. We probably second guessed ourselves a bit too much. I can't fold our quicks. I thought they did a, a great job, uh, particularly Mitchell Stark throughout this series. Um, but our batters and spinners are the ones that have to step up in these conditions and we haven't been able to do that. Personally, it was a good series numbers wise. Um, would have been nice to win a series, but um, yeah, I think a lot of good things to take out of that. Felt like I bowled quite well in Gaul, and we've got two test matches there, so whilst they're quite friendly to, to the spinners here, um, it's a good sign that, that you know if we get the ball reverse and, and a bit of air speed, then you can still be, still be a good force to reckon with here as well. I think guys took a lot of learnings away from that and realised you know, how you've got to play in these conditions. Um, even someone like Nathan Lyon I think learned a lot. I think I've been able to really learn off so many people around the world but Murali's mindset was pretty unique. So it was pretty rem remarkable spending time with him here in Sri Lanka where he's probably the greatest Sri Lankan cricketer to ever play the game. Really, hopefully I'll be able to pass on a little bit of knowledge to, to the younger spinners. So I think it was, a, it was a good learning experience for a lot of players, and um, which, you, which I guess you can get sometimes when you lose as well. Um, you probably potentially learn more when you lose than, than when you win. This is one of the better teams of playing spin that I've been a part of in the Australian cricket team. I think we've learnt from past mistakes. The younger guys coming in are learning from the older guys' mistakes, so we're getting a lot better at that. I think it's going to be a different contest this time around, but then again, at the end of the day, you have to respect Sri Lanka because they're very good at home. <laughs>